Okay, hi there. Uh, I'm Dave Grossman. This is Babas uh, Georgia Kainis. Uh, he's my principal and mentor. Uh, it's February 29th in Canada, March the 1st in the morning in China. Welcome, Babas. Can't hear you. I can't hear you. Do you have your microphone on? Yeah, you can oh. hear me? Okay, now I can hear you. At first, it, All looked, right. it looked like... Okay, but anyhow, uh, the purpose of this video is to go over um, what was on um, uh, Module 7, uh, Unit 1, Activity 2. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, take a quick look. Now we can see Babas now, and Babas will try to talk. Because of the connection with China, Babas may have to turn this video off. Okay, so... Uh, Activity two, okay? So basically we're having the meeting, we're setting up the video recording and discussing, um, you know, the upcoming practice teaching. So I've been talking with Bubba's for, I don't know, about 40 minutes now. We're gonna try to do five, 10 minutes right now. And, um, okay, anyhow. Um, I uh, created a document and Babas and I went over this document. Um, so uh, Babas has seen uh, how the evaluation is done uh, and understands that we're going to start uh, around module eight, uh, unit two um, with the evaluations. And, and I showed uh, a typical uh, rubric to I showed Babas uh, our typical weekly uh, teaching. This is from activity one, and this is to talk about the in task, the 10 in task. So I showed Babas how students, uh, someone would start a standard and then other people would comment on it. And I showed Babas the, uh, the one that I did, I, I did uh, number 10. I commented on number one, and I got another one to comment on. Okay. Um, okay, so Babas, do you have any suggestions of, because I'm gonna be teaching by Zoom, and I made a couple of notes. Um, I liked how you said, ask a question and have them answer in the chat privately. Um, yeah. Could you explain that a little bit more to me, please? Well, because we are dealing with a, a huge number of students, uh, 90 students, and they are coming from three different groups. Uh, and some of these groups don't know us mm -hmm. because we merge the groups that time in order to have less teaching periods. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to motivate we need to motivate all of them, and especially the students that are not used in our teaching style. So what I did, and I think it works in my classes, is to give an open question, ask them an open question, uh, and then ask them to answer me in the group chat, but privately. So, the students cannot see their classmates, classmates' responses. And in that way, I can also check who is participating in the class. Uh, a good strategy that I applied last week was mm. uh, in order to motivate the students from IG4 who don't know me, mm. uh, was to ask uh, this group uh, at least five students to give an answer, otherwise I wouldn't move on. <laughs> and that worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, that worked. Good, good, good. Yeah, no, no, that's a problem when you've got so many people and the culture of Chinese um, is to not want to answer, to not be embarrassed or lose face or something like that. But uh, yeah, no, this is definitely a problem because you know to try to figure out who's paying attention and who's not paying attention. So I like that. What I need to do is I need to figure out how to say, save the chat 
there must be a way to save the chat. I see we can send files there. Um, we're not using the professional version, so I don't know if we can save the chat or if I need to use my mouse and I need to copy or, or something like that. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, this is something that we, we figure out. Now, you mentioned we have our material because, you know, we were talking about going forward and, uh, um, but with my course, we don't always have the material. Like we, we do, uh, the course is uh, at Cambridge's IGCSE ESL and I'm teaching it to grade 10. Um, we do look at old exams, old written and listening exams, um, and, and give those exams uh, to kind of um, see how the students are doing, make them familiar with, uh, with these exams, um, mark them and, and get the stuff back to the students. Um, but besides that, we don't have a textbook. So my idea, was because I've been teaching ESL in China for a bunch of years, including teaching in college for three years, is the problems that I see with my students, uh, the big three would be uh, grammar, uh, tenses, speaking in the right tense, and the using articles, like uh, uh, after I finish the dinner, uh, I want to go to park, something like that. So. That, that's the, you know, that's down the line to fix. But uh, we did a lot of grammar in the first semester. So I started out by doing a review of that. Um, I didn't get all the homework back. We'll, we'll figure out how to get the homework back. Um, I did, uh, did I put it at the bottom of this one? I forget. No, there is a document. I made, oh, I, I wrote you up a document. I, I, I gave you a document to talk about the classroom expectations and routines. So, so Babas is familiar with what it is that I want to do. Um, and we want to make sure that the students show up and we get to a class monitor to take attendance. And I asked students to take notes and I may ask them to take a screenshot if they're doing it on computer or to take a photo uh, with their, their phone uh, if they're doing written notes. And, and, you know, the odd class, I'll ask them, okay, at the end of class, send that in. So this way I know if they're paying attention. Um, now, there's this thing, correction marks for English. Um, and Cambridge has this method. And this is the big thing that I want to work on that I was working on in the first semester and it was having a lot of success. I, I mentioned my monitor Yo-Yo and how she's really progressed because she takes a look at the feedback here. Um, uh, you know, we, we look for spelling, capitalization, punctuation, wrong word, subject, verb, agreement, dependent clause, run on sentence, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, writing stuff. Uh, I'm just wondering if I've got one. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just, uh, I'm going to find a piece of homework just to, to show this so that you can see um, what it is that I'm doing with the students when I'm marking. Uh, God, I've had to create such the directory structure just to do all this online teaching. Uh, homework, I've got the homework file which I gave out and that should have been like a clear message. Now not all the students did it but I want them to do the thing, type it into a docx, give it back in a certain format, save the file and I wanted them to write a five sentence paragraph. And since these are ESL students, then I would be able to judge how well they did. Um, okay. Let's find this one. Oops. Let's go up one. Check it here. Uh, okay. Where, where's Yo-Yo? Yo-Yo marked. Okay. So Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo is a classic example of how she improved. Now you can see. There's a lot of marking in this. So actually, this part of doing the online really works well if 
uh, if students respond and hand it in. It takes a heck of a lot of time for me to mark it, but in this, we can see P, 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 P. And you look at the coding, and the coding says P, punctuation error. So Yo-Yo is making a lot of punctuation errors. And as you can see, things like, you know, spacing, too much spacing, or sometimes a letter right beside a comma or something like that. And so this way, Yo-Yo can graphically see what she's doing. And my goal was that if everybody handed in last week's, I mark it, I get it back to them, then their homework this coming week, uh, which I would have hoped would have been for Sunday night at seven o'clock, but can't be because I haven't received from half the students yet. Uh, as soon as I get it, I can give it back to them and then they can work on correcting their stuff. And this is a way of differentiating towards everyone because uh, it's gonna tell me who has issues, what they work on, and then who's really good. See, at the moment, I have two new classes. And uh, also, I, I haven't even seen enough writing from my own class from, from back last semester. But the ones who are doing this well, aha, there's my group of more advanced students. And those are the ones that I can differentiate to and to try to give more work to or more um, interesting or more complicated assignments or something like that. Um, that's like 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> um, they, they, they're gonna, they, they, they hate this and they, they want me to chop it up. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just stop the video at that point and I'm gonna submit that and I'm gonna say,